Hello everyone and welcome to the second video on decimals. This is a technical case video on the topic of the formal reading of decimals. And, uh, and the formal reading of decimals uh, depends on whether or not uh, the whole part is zero. So we are going to take a look at two cases. Uh, case one is when the whole part is not zero. And in this case, uh, there are four steps, uh, and basically, now we are going to go through the detail, but basically, step one is uh, to uh, write, po say, positive or negative, uh, in case there is a sign present, uh, and then you read the whole part, that's step number two. Then you put the, uh, you, you say and, in place of the decimal point, uh, to separate the whole part from the fractional part, and then you read the fractional part. So sign, if there is one then the whole part, then you say and, and then the fractional part. Let's go through some examples. Uh, write 12.025 in words, and uh, here is a sort of like a bigger version of the number, 12.025. Uh, of course, the informal way of reading it is 12.025, and sometimes we just read it that way. Uh, but the formal reading uh, has its own advantages. Uh, in some contexts, it makes much more sense to read the uh, decimal number formally, uh, such as when we talk about, let's say, uh, seven tenths of the people voted, let's say. Uh, it's easier, it's, it's more meaningful when I say seven tenths than saying 0.7 of the people voted. Uh, in any case, uh, there are there are situations similar to this where it uh, it is advantageous to be able to read the number formally, and uh, and so following the steps that we have up here, uh, we are going to uh, if there is a sign present, then we say positive or negative, and in this case I don't have a sign, so I I won't say positive or negative, and then uh, we read the whole part. Uh, that's uh, as I said in the previous video. Uh, the whole part of a decimal number is the left side of the decimal number. So we read the whole part uh, just as we would uh, read a natural number. So this is 12. Okay. And then we say and when we see the decimal point. The word and formally separates the whole part of a number from the fractional part of that number. And uh, this is true both with decimals and also fractions, when uh, we have mixed numbers where we can have a whole part and a fractional part, such as when we say two and a half. Uh, and, uh, and again, when we say two and a half, uh, this indicates that uh, the whole part is two and the fractional part is one half, and the two of them are separated with the word and. This also explains why we insisted that uh, the word and should not be used when you, in the formal reading of uh, natural numbers, because then it becomes confusing. <clears throat> okay, so we say and, that's step number three, by the way. And then we read the uh, fractional part, uh, and, uh, and we look at them all together, as I mentioned in the previous video. So we are not going to see this as uh, zero tenths and two hundredths and five thousandths but a totality of 25 thousandths. And so that becomes the formal reading of 12.025. 12 and 25 thousandths. Now in terms of uh, the reading of the place value at the end, thousandths, uh, I'll, I'll explain this using the image on the right side. Uh, 12 is on the, left, uh, on the left side, on the whole side. And then we have the word and. And now you read 25 and you quote the place value of the last digit, which is in the thousands. Five is in the thousands. So we have 25 thousands. Okay, as a second example here, uh, we want to write negative 720.30 in words, uh, in a formal way, I should say. Uh, the question would probably say, what is the formal reading of negative 720.30? And uh, here is a bigger version of that number. So now in this case, uh, we are going to follow step number one. There is a sign present. So we say negative. And then we move on to step number two and read the whole part. As a natural number, 720. And please note 
that I did not say 720. The use of and here would then conflict with the use of and coming up later to read the decimal point. So, so far we have negative 720. Now we say and to separate the whole part from the fractional part. And then we read the uh, fractional part uh, in full. Now, in this case, uh, you might say, uh, should we drop the zero or not? And the, and the answer is, well, if you drop it, then you read it as three tenths. But if you keep the zero, then you read this as 30 hundredths. So here we have the formal reading of the number that we have here. Negative 720 and 30 hundredths. So these are the four components, sine, whole part, decimal point, fractional part. Okay, now the second case is when the whole part is zero. And uh, in this case, by the way, uh, it's, uh, it's basically a shortened version of the, of the top. Uh, the short of it is we do not read the whole part and we don't say and. We just read the sine and the fractional part. So basically, we skip steps two and three and uh, only do steps one and four. Uh, some examples. We want to write 0 0.018 in words. And again, here is a bigger version of that. And uh, in this case, uh, there is no sign present. We are not going to read the whole part. We are not going to say zero. We are not going to say and. And we just jump to the fractional part. So if there is zero point, you basically only read the fractional part. Preceded with positive or negative if there is a sign present. So this is just simply 18 thousandths. And here is a diagram for it. So we say 18 and then quote the place value of the last digit. 18 thousandths. The second example, write negative 0.01 in words or read it formally and uh, now here we have of course uh, a sign and we're going to say negative and then we'll skip zero and and we say 100 so negative 100 uh, one more thing to note here is because we have only one piece we do not use the plural s so we do not say negative 100 uh, again there is one piece uh, just as you don't say one box you say one book uh, you also uh, refer to if you have one piece you don't say one pieces so one hundredth and not one hundredths and there's that comment uh, there is no plural s uh, because there is only one piece here all right now we go the other way uh, suppose that uh, someone uh, reads a number or uh, or it's written in words and you want to represent that number using uh, numerical digits uh, so in this case, basically, if the word positive or negative is used, we write down plus or minus the uh, sign for a positive number, a positive number, or the sign uh, for a negative number. And then we basically write the whole part, which is the part that runs up to the word and. And then we put the decimal point in place of the word and, which separates the whole part from the fractional part. And then we write the digits that correspond to the fractional part. And of course, we have to notice where the last digit falls. So if, if, uh, if the reading ends in thousands, the last digit has to fall on the thousands. Okay, uh, some examples of these. Write using digits uh, 320 and 7500. Now I've color coded and so it stands out. Uh, but normally you would have to find it uh, without relying on any kind of color. So here we have the word and, which means 320 is the whole side. So we write down 320. And then we put down the decimal point in place of the word and. And then we read the right side 7500. Now before we write anything down, we need to know how many digits, uh, how many place values we have to use. And because hundreds is uh, is the second place value, we need to fill up two places here on the right side. 75 has two digits. So we write down 75. And we get uh, 320 and 75 hundreds. 
another one uh, 27 and 1000 and again you notice that uh, we're not using the plural s because there is only one piece on the fractional set so 27 uh, that's the whole part then and that's where we put the decimal point one thousandth now a thousandth is the third place on the right side of the decimal point and uh, one has only one digit and we need to fill up three places and therefore we write two zeros followed by a one so we have 27 and one thousandth and uh, again if the word positive or negative is present uh, we write uh, plus or minus uh, and then zero point and then uh, we write the number that that is given and uh, noting the place value of the digit uh, that that it falls on now this one is for the case when uh, we uh, where when the whole part is zero remember that in that case uh, we don't read the whole part uh, so basically there is uh, they, there may be a sign uh, in which case we hear or see the words positive or negative uh, and that's followed by uh, pretty much nothing there is nothing for that that comes uh, there is no word and and there is nothing of course before it because there is no word and and therefore that means we have zero point and then uh, comes the fractional part which uh, we deal with in the same way as we did uh, in the numbers that we dealt with above so as examples of these, let's say we hear or we see 58 thousandths. All right, I, I don't see the word end, and therefore that means we have zero point. Following that, we have 58 thousandths. Now thousandths is the third place on the right side, and therefore we have to fill up three places on the right side. 58 has only two digits. And therefore, we proceed this with a zero, and we put down 0 0.058. So now we have, skipping zero and, we have 58 thousandths. And here we have uh, negative 100, uh, and we want to write this using digits. And, uh, and I don't think I need to say using digits twice. There we go, uh, right using digits, negative 100. Now in this case, we have the word negative, so we write down minus. And then uh, there is no and again, and, uh, and we, therefore we have zero point. And now uh, we have 100. One has only one digit, and hundredth is the second place. So we put down 0 0.01. Let me just get rid of this part again. All right, so let's take a look at it again. We have uh, negative 100. Negative becomes the negative sign. And then there is no word and, so we have zero point. Following that, we have 100. Uh, hundredth is the second place on the right side. One has only one digit in it, and therefore we write down zero one to push the one here into the hundredths location. Okay, everyone, that's it for uh, the formal reading of decimals, and in the next video I will be talking about order, and until then, goodbye.